Brittany, seated in front of a painting. Hi, my name is Brittany Manuel, and I'm the team lead of advocacy and community engagement at the CNIB GTA Community Hub. And for the past two years, our CNIB Hub has been expanding its programs and initiatives to ensure that all participants are reflected and valued within our programs and services. And thanks to the Canadian Heritage Fund, we were able to take this a step further to ensure proper representation, community engagement, and outreach to racialized members of the site loss community. We are CNIB, Intersectionality Series. Why is it important to take an intersectional approach? The communities we serve are very diverse and rich in experience, so it's important to celebrate these differences, listen to unique challenges that come with the diversity to create programs and advocacy that empower people impacted by blindness and tear down barriers to inclusion. Intersectionality and taking an intersectional approach to advocacy and service provision is about acknowledging that there are many factors that overlap with one's identity and understanding the importance of addressing how they work together to form a person's lived experience. This includes gender expression, sexuality, race, religion, culture, social economic status, and so many other factors, including having a disability and more specifically at CNIB, our community's experience as people who are low vision, blind, or partially sighted. We have Sarah Patel, who is a passionate member of her community, who stands up for what is right, and looks at ways where she can take her intersecting identities, whether it's being a Muslim, a person with sight loss, or also a woman of color, and use that to advocate for others and herself. And she also shares about her experience with bullying and how she was able to navigate that within the school system. In Bernard's case, his passion for advocacy, community engagement, and empowering others by sharing his lived experience, whether that be working professionally, um, working within the community, being a person who stands up for what is right, and looking at ways where he can continuously engage people and fight for social justice in so many different shapes and forms. And we also have Teresa who is a powerful person with so much passion for advocacy and as a communicator when it comes to experiences that she's had in her past and sharing about a lot of her intersecting identities, whether it be a person who has sight loss, hearing loss, and an intellectual disability. She's also a recent entrepreneur and she's had so much success throughout her community, being able to sell a lot of the items she creates. We also have Tina Reed. And in her case, she shares on her experience being a part of the trans community and her passion for science and cooking and how her intersecting identities, being a woman, a part of the trans community, and also navigating through those different experiences to bring awareness to a lot of the issues that many people don't actually see as pertinent within our communities. We also have Yomi, who is an advocate within our community and works wholeheartedly to ensure that people understand the needs of people with sight loss and the needs of people who are newcomers to Canada. He also taps into his spiritual beliefs as a way to keep him inspired to move forward. By listening, learning, and prioritizing intersectionality, we can reach people that are often underserved and underrepresented within the services, programs, and advocacy initiatives we fight for, and truly change what it means to be blind for everyone we serve. This project was made possible by the Canadian Heritage Fund as a free learning and advocacy resource. If you would like to know more about these amazing people, you can check out the links below. Let us know what you think. Contact us at CNIB. Email info at cnib.ca or call us toll free 1-800-563-2642. This project was created by the GTA Advocacy Team and funded by a grant from Canadian Heritage.